it's Jan Howell and I'm here with another DIY tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to put some style in your sneakers with some DIY shoelaces. You can make them with fabric or an upcycled t-shirt. I'll show you two different methods to use fabric and a no-sew method using an upcycled t-shirt. Be sure to stay with me till the end of the video and I'll show you how you can join several different colors to form one shoelace with variegated colors. Let's go over the items and things that you'll need. For the fabric shoelaces, you'll need woven fabric. This is just quilting or cotton fabric. I've cut it to one and a half inch strips or four centimeters. Or you can use the bias tape that maybe you have previously made. And I have a tutorial, a fun tutorial on that. And you might want to go and watch that. Um, the fabric does not need to be cut on the bias. It can be cut on the straight. Or if you've already cut it on the bias, you can cut it on the bias. It does make it a little bit more stretchy to be on the bias. But I haven't found any really advantage of doing that. Otherwise unless you have some bias tape already made in which, as you can see, and I have several colors already made up. I do have a PDF download that you can print out, which has a chart on how long to make your shoelaces for how many eyelets your shoe has. The best way to measure um, is just take your shoelace out and find out how long it is and then cut your fabric strip to that. To cut your strips, you can use a rotary cutter, which I really like, and a rotary ruler and mat. If you don't have one, you still can use a pair of fabric scissors to cut your strips. I'm going to show you two different sewing methods. One way involves folding the fabric and top stitching, and the other is making a tube and then turning it inside out. To get this really nice fold, I love using this bias tape maker. It's a number 18, it's red, and it folds it down into a, a narrow strip like this and then we'll fold it in half. You'll need an iron and an ironing board. For one of the sewing methods you'll need a safety pin and if you are using the upcycle t-shirt method of course you'll need a t-shirt, preferably one without any side seams. If you want to use an upcycle t-shirt you may want to watch the video tutorial that shows you how to make t-shirt yarn and then you'll just need the t-shirt yarn cut to that length and then I'll show you how to finish the ends. There are several different ways that you can finish the ends of the shoelace. I like using this heat shrink tubing and this particular set has different colors and different sizes or you can buy it in clear. It's I prefer using the kind that has glue adhesive in the linings when it shrinks down it's it's hard and not so rubbery. This clear kind that I have didn't have the adhesive in it and it's not and when it dries it's still kind of tacky and rubbery not as hard as the the adhesive lined. So I'll put the links for those in the description below. You'll also need either a hair dryer or a heat gun to shrink down your shrink tubing. If you're using the sewing machine method of course you'll need your sewing machine. I'm going to make these blue polka dot shoelaces for the, this pair of tennis shoes. I measured the lace and it was 49 inches. So I will measure out 49 inches. No worries if the fabric is not long enough, I'm going to show you how to piece that together. So to make it, I could just sew a straight seam, but that's going to put all the bulk in that area. When I open that up, there'll be a lot of bulk in that area and almost make a lump. So to make that more smooth and less bulky, let me show you how to piece that together. Place your fabric right side up and take the other strip and place it over the top, overlapping the ends at the top and the side about a quarter of an inch doesn't have to be exact, but it has, but it needs to be at least a quarter of an inch. 
and then I'm going to sew at a diagonal from this notch to this notch. I'll take the ruler and show you what that would look like. So I'll be sewing just right down there from notch to notch. Turn your hand wheel toward you so you can bring the needle down just to make sure you, that it's coming down right at that notch. Back stitch. Then I'm going to cut the seam allowance to a quarter inch. and cut off those little dog tails, dog ears there, and the thread. And then when I open that up, and when I fold it, all the bulk won't be just right here, it will be distributed like this and make it much better. So I'm going to press that seam open going to show you how to use the bias tape maker to fold these strips. So I'm just going to apply the fabric into the fat end and you can use a pin just to help feed it down. And just start pulling it out, kind of get it adjusted. It folds it quite nicely just in half there. And just press it as you pull it. Pretty simple. Then I'm going to fold it in half again and press. don't have this little gadget, no worries. I'm going to show you how to fold it. Just take your strip, fold it in half, and press all the way down. And then open it up and fold the bottom edge to the middle, fold, and press all the way down. And then once you have that all pressed, bring the top edge down to the middle. And then fold that in half and press. Now all we're going to do is take it to the sewing machine and top stitch as close as you can to that edge the open edge to close that off. Go ahead and do that with both laces. Clip the ends, the threads, and I'm going to cut about half inch snips of the shrink tube, four of them. So if you don't have shrink tube, you can take packaging tape and wrap your ends really tight and then wrap the tape around, or you can um, use stitching, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So to apply the shrink tubing, just stick the end in there, 
and I'll extend the fabric out just a little bit. I'll apply both of them at the same time. That way I can heat both of them up at the same time. It's helpful to take a, p um, a pair of pliers or needle nose pliers and hold the, f the laces so you don't burn your hands. Just let those cool and then we'll snip off the end of the fabric. And for the other method, I'm just simply going to make, fold this in half, right sides together, and sew all the way down, making a tube. Back stitch at the beginning and the end of the seam. I'm just using a quarter inch seam allowance. There's my seam and this is the fold. Insert the safety pin just on the outside and come up in the middle and then take the top of the safety pin back into the hole and just start scooting it down and pulling the end out. That first little area is the hardest to get going. Just keep threading it down and pulling those ends. and you don't have to top stitch them. So that is the second sewing method. To make your shoelaces from an upcycled t-shirt, cut your t-shirt yarn to the length of your shoelace that you need it to be. Now I have cut, this is strips of knit, t-shirt knit fabric, at one inch. You can make them bigger, one to two inches, but I find one inch is a good width for a shoelace. I have a tutorial specifically that will give more details about the t-shirt yarn and how to make that. So I have cut it to length. I have stretched it. What's really cool about knit is when you stretch it and pull it, it curls. Then I'm going to apply the shrink tubing to the ends. And this t-shirt yarn really is quite durable and I love it for shoelaces. Make sure it extends out just a little bit past. And then shrink it down. So I told you I would show you how to finish the ends of the shoelace with a needle and thread if you didn't have shrink tubing. I have double threaded a needle and I'm going to knot the end. Just 
just apply the needle in through the center of the tube so we'll hide the knot and bring it out at the oh about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the lace. Roll the end as tight as you can and I'm just going to wrap it around several times really tight and then anchor it in by taking a little stitch. Pull it and then wrap it around some more as close together as you can and then anchor it in with a little stitch. So you can just do this as far down the lace as you want to. I'm going to go down maybe a half inch. bring the lace, the thread as close together as you can. I would probably choose a different color, but so you could see better, I chose this dark gray. And then just keep wrapping it. I like to go down about a half inch or a three quarter inch. And then I'm just going to make a little stitch. and then leave a loop. Wrap my needle around inside the loop a few times and then pull it and that will knot it. And then just take a stitch out and cut your thread. Trim off the ends And you can apply a little fray check on the end and that will keep it from fraying. Pretty simple. So now let me show you how to make these cute multicolor laces using several different scraps of your fabric. The color combinations are just endless and that just adds so much character. So we're going to be placing them together just like we did the other. And so to do that in the same order, I have the green and the green is attached to the paisley. Remember, sew those ends together like I showed you on the diagonal. And I'm just going to use my trusty bias tape maker to fold it. Then I'm just going to top stitch right along the edge. Top stitching as close to the edge as possible. I will apply the shrink tube on the ends threaded in my shoes and aren't they the cutest thing ever just think how cute these would be in a kid's a children's shoe or a baby shoe you can make them as long or as short as you want all kinds of different colors different variations and even use an upcycle t-shirt thanks for watching make sure you're subscribing to the channel stay tuned for upcoming tutorials we'll see you in the next class